I'm Jen Beeston. Today I want to talk to you about how much mortgage can I afford. People are constantly trying to figure this out and they don't really generally want to talk to a lender off the bat. They want to figure it out themselves. So I'm going to give you a quick and easy way to figure out kind of the basics. This isn't a real qualification, so don't think that this is 100% bulletproof. This is just a guideline for you that's better than, you know, guesstimating, okay? So the first thing is there's two different ways to look at this. Um, personally, I'm very financially conservative, and if you listen to a lot of people like Dave Ramsey or Suze Ramon, they're going to urge you to have a housing payments that's less than 30% of your gross income. Okay, your gross income is the amount you make before taxes. So that's before federal, state, social security, Medicare, healthcare. So if for instance, you make $10,000 a month, 30% of that would be $3,000. So to be financially conservative, you would want your mortgage to payment to be less than $3,000 a month. Now I'm gonna have a link to a mortgage calculator somewhere in the comments on this video. So if you're trying to figure out how to put together a payment, feel free to click on that link, okay? 30% um, of your gross income is not always realistic. So there are certain areas in the country where the cost of living is so high, like it'd be great if you could do it for 30%, but it's not super likely. So as a lender, when I'm qualifying, I can actually go up to 43% of your gross income. So if you make $10,000 a month, that's $4,300, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your gross income monthly times 0.3 to get what the conservative amount would be for your total monthly mortgage payment. Now that includes principal and interest, taxes, homeowner's insurance, mortgage insurance if you're gonna need it, and if it's a condo, your HOA dues, okay? Um, and then if you want to go, well, shoot, that's never going to work, try it times 0.43. So your gross income times 0.43, okay? So that's where your housing payment should fall into line. Now there's something else that comes into play here, and it's what we as a lender call your back-end ratio. So what that is, is it's your gross income versus your monthly mortgage payment and all your other debt on your credit report, okay? So... If you have deferred student loans, there's special rules about those. We will hit you with the payment nine out of 10 times. So you really wanna make sure you're talking to originator or checking out one of my videos on student loans so that you know how that affects you. But let's keep this simple. Let's say your finances are super easy. So let's say uh, you make $10,000 a month uh, and let's say the mortgage payment for the house you want is gonna be $3,700 and you have a car payment of $700 and $300 in min monthly minimum credit card fees, okay? Um, so basically you've got a $3,700 mortgage payment and a $1,000 in monthly debt on your credit report. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 3,700 plus that $1,000 um, and then I'm gonna divide that by the monthly gross income. So that's $10,000. Um, so that tells me that the gross, um, the back end ratio is 47%. I can't believe I just even used a calculator doing that. It's because I'm talking and talking. Anyways, so 47% is the total back end ratio. Now, personally, 47% is a little bit high. Um, realistically, you're going to want to keep your monthly debt for your credit cards, your car payments, your student loans, and your housing payment ideally under 43%. Okay, if you're looking at a jumbo loan, that's pretty critical. There's some investors that will go up to that 50% debt to income, but there's a lot that won't. So, if for example, you know, you were looking at a jumbo loan and you make $10,000 a month and you want to have your pick of investors, all your debt, including your proposed monthly housing payment, needs to be under $4,300 a month, okay? So this can be a lot to take in, and I know it's hard for a lot of people to visualize this. Um, so beyond the mortgage calculator link, I'm actually going to have a link to an article that will explain how to calculate this. Um, there's a lot of stuff online 
that will give you stuff to take into consideration that just doesn't make a lot of sense and it's not the way a lender looks at it. And thinking, oh, well, I can afford this monthly payment, that's not the way to do it either. You know, I talk to people every single day and if I could have seven people who make $10,000 a month and they're all gonna have different opinions on what they can afford. They could have the same amount of credit card debt. One's gonna think they could afford a $7,000 a month payment. One's gonna think they can't afford $1,500. So if you want the actual numbers, I would urge you to check out the links I'm gonna put on this um, and then read the article about how to calculate. If you have questions or you wanna get really qualified, feel free to give myself and my team a call. Um, but how much mortgage can you afford? This is gonna be the most realistic way to figure it out. Thanks for watching.